how to create a free virtual card in Nigeria. I noticed that in the last few weeks, I have not been able to make international payments, particularly on my Facebook ad account and I thought it was my account that had issues. Again, I wanted to renew a name cheap hosting for one of my clients and again, I noticed that my Access Bank Naira account debit card was rejected. So I walked up to Access Bank and I was shocked when their customer care officer told me that Access Bank has blocked their cards from all online transactions. So I tried Zenith debit card also, but again, it was rejected. So during my research, I came across this method of creating virtual card. It is a sweet, easy to create method and it is free. I've been using it for weeks now and it allows me to make all manner of online transactions. It is also safe and free to use. So if you have these kind of problems that I also had, then join me as I explain how you can create your own virtual card for international payment under five minutes. Also, there is a piece of vital information about virtual card that all the videos on YouTube won't share with you. And this is a very important detail that you must know. So do not skip any part of this video and make sure you watch till the end. Okay, if you're using a phone, then go to your Play Store or App Store and download Bata by Flutterwave. But I will be demonstrating it on a laptop in this video. But the process is similar to what happens on phone, so you can all, always follow through. Okay, launch your browser and type in bata.me in the address bar. I also include the link in the description box below this video. Okay, once it takes you here, go ahead and click create account. Carefully fill in your details as requested. While filling your password, try to make it at least up to 8 characters with at least a capital letter there and you can add a special character like your hash, your heart and you know those special characters, right? Okay, make sure you include them in your password, it makes things easier. Click create account. Now it will ask you to check your mail for a code. So log in to your email that you use in registering for the account and check your inbox for the message. If you can't find it, then go check your spam mail. It will be in one of the two places. You can also check your phone if perhaps it's sent there. Okay, here is mine. I will copy this code. I will paste it here and click continue. Then it will request that you should verify your account. Just fill in your BVN and date of birth. That's all. Once done, go to your cards here. And automatically, a Naira card would have been created for you. What you want to do is to come to cards and click. Now this first card is the Naira card that was automatically created for me after verifying my account. So yours too would have been created automatically. As you can see, it has all the details of a normal card. The card number, the dates, everything is intact. Below this card, you can see all the details of the card. The number, the CVV, it has it has even generated a billing address for you and zip code, so you have nothing to worry at all. You can also see my card expiry date and account balance. So, what if you want to create a dollar card and not a Naira card? I already have a dollar card in this account. 
So if I click on it, it will also display all the card details just like it did for Naira card and it will match it up with automatically generating uh, an international billing address for you as you can see. So to create your own dollar account, remember that we are in the card tab, click create new card. Fill in how much you want to have on your card, $5 is always the minimum. Click create card. Enter transaction pin that you won't forget. I usually use a four digit for my own. Be confirm. I won't click this because I don't want to create a new card again since I already have one. So once you do that, a new dollar card will be automatically created for you with all the necessary details. If you don't have money in your account, you won't be able to create card. So you have to fund the account. To do so, just click on add money here. This card is so handy that let's say you notice any activity that you are not comfortable with or you are suspicious of or any other reason as a matter of fact, you can temporarily freeze this card or even delete it permanently. Also remember that when using the dollar card for your international transactions, the default country is always US. So after filling your card detail, the country is always in the United States. Okay, so your card is ready. You can always use them for all your international transactions. That solves the problem of paying online once and for all. Sometimes, while trying to pay online, you will be requested to check your phone for an OTP code to complete your transactions. Remember that Bata is the one supplying all your details here. Since you did not include a phone number to create your virtual card, anytime you are asked to check your phone for a code to complete your transactions, just come over to this notification icon on your Bata account and then you can see the codes here. Copy it and use it to complete all your transactions. If you have any issues or questions, drop them in the comment box below this video. I promise to always check it up and to answer you promptly. Please like this video if you think it has delivered value for you and if you do so, you are using it to also encourage this channel because it will be suggested to people that are looking for information like this. And also, if you want online tips, WordPress tips and how to make money with blogging tips online, then subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get fresh quality content when I publish them. Thank you very much and see you in my next video.